Today's topic is how to screen for the stronger shares that pay dividend in an uncertain market within minutes. All right, so that's the topic that may interest for some of you who are listening in here. I think this is pretty good and uh, especially some of those members who are uh, or public audience who are looking for you, this will definitely suit them. So do share this video that we have in here and I just want to say hello to those of you who are here today and maybe I can just share this in my timeline or somewhere I can do share this do share this for me and it will save me the work from sharing a lot of other places and uh, let's do that one first I'll share another one so very good morning so while I'm sharing this and uh, just another sharing here my timeline and I'm good to go. Okay, I want to see. Uh, Joey is here today. Joey, you remember, right? Okay, good. Hopefully, you are... Okay, for those of you who don't know, this morning I was late because I was trading the FCPO because I want to share that method where we want to make two to 300 ringgit within uh, within minutes. Okay, within minutes. It's, it's unlike... The stocks are more for the slow one, but this is more for those who want to trade for living and trading income. That's a workshop we're going to do. I'll, I'll talk a lot on our uh, trading idea there in our Telegram group. But today, I just want to focus on the stronger shares that we have. But if you do have that one just do share and i suppose uh what we want to do is to find the stronger shares that pay dividend all right let's start okay thank you very much for coming today so let's move on so so as usual if you are first time listening to our trade vsa do join our telegram group with many many ideas on trading ideas that works that I will share with you so you can benefit whether it is intraday trading, it is long-term trading, we'd have it all. With our proprietary trade VSA Pentagon guide that we can guide you in there and also with Smart Road. All right, don't forget we also have our YouTube channel. Do subscribe and you're getting updated every time and you don't miss a video of the important information for you that you need to make a wise decision trading. So that's from our Trade VSA YouTube channel in here. So make sure you subscribe to that. All right. Now, like it or not, the coronavirus, you've seen this before, continue to hog the headline that you see. So there's a lot of uncertainty. Even last night in the masterclass uh, course that was uh, I was talking about, and they were really concerned, you know, where are we should be investing uh, our money in there. So that's why I came out with this very special topic how to look for the stronger shares to buy in an uncertain market. So we're going to look at that in here. I think the market somehow has plummeted, but since then has recovered, right? Now, the latest update on the coronavirus that we have seen, this is just uh, like 20 minutes ago, the the rate of the date apparently has slowed down, all right? But the new cases have been discussed on the cruise ship in here. So one thing that's do tell you and there's also a news from one of the china prominent uh, disease infectious disease came out and said look we were going to hit the peak uh, end of this month and i think that's quite like it that's likely to be the bottom of the market that we see right now in here so this is what we are uh, looking at so uh, market now is bottoming in here so that seems to be very very good uh, for many of you who are looking to buy in a slower market in here. So this is a slower market in here. Uh, so do take note uh, what we have seen so far. I think the virus uh, whole you know, news, the, the panic, you know, the toilet roll that is missed out from the shelf that we see in Hong Kong and Singapore, all those were behind us and we will look for a new high, not necessarily the Malaysian market, as those of you who have followed me in some of my past YouTube video that I did talk about, our market is not going to go any higher and one reason why is one of the slides below which I'm going to share with you that you should be able to get a copy of it, all right? That's the valuable information that you want. Now let's move forward here. Uh, what to look for. Now, the, the coronavirus, like it or not, is highly infectious. This is an uh, older figure, just uh, January 13. Now, it's almost about maybe two weeks. There's a lot of people really worried about, you know, the fertility rate. Now, one of the, the uh, 
idea that I have why China registered a 2% uh, for just China, a 2% fatality rate, whereas the rest of the world is less than 0.2 is because of the HIV combination drug, which is not widely available in China. So I do think that, you know, you have like 40,000 over people with a high cost of the HIV uh, combination drug to, to sort of you know, reduce the symptoms of the coronavirus, that's a bit too much for it. And and I do think that because of this, you see a lot of that outside of Malaysia, sorry, outside of China, that is less. So don't worry about it. Like you see in the picture right side, everything should be fine. And there's also news, huh? a child has recovered, the three person has already recovered in Malaysia and more than 1,300 people has uh, recovered, more than, you know, a 10% recovery. It's just that the news, that is coming out that's uh, now this is a very important information in here that i think many of you should know and this is uh as part of the trade vsa member you should be able to see this let me just bring out yeah my uh i want to bring up the laser pointer yeah now you can see right here a uh, very important is the lessening of the uh what we call foreign fund flow now this is uh, updated daily so our members are able to see this very, very much so you can notice in the daily uh, foreign fund flow, so you can see as the market uh, foreign fund turns selling less and and we have this this is this is from yesterday you can see less selling in here and we should be able to see pockets like we have one here okay and then another one here you see this market start to move higher that's right the market will move higher because foreign funds are selling less and that was the the, the really great month that we have in, in december because we have foreign fund money so this is for our pro members so do log in and check it out every day because i can only really update our members once a week so make sure you get hold of this now on the topic uh going forward for 2020 what do you think is likely to happen in here right so this was an article that I came out from the Edge Financial. Would there be another cut, uh, interest rate cut on uh, Bank Negara very, very soon? So why is it, when is it better to put money in stocks than in bank? And I think that's the prominent what we see right now. Now, I want to ask the audience in here, is now the right time to put money in stocks that pay dividend? What do you think? Okay, I want to ask the audience here. Okay, is this. A good time to buy dividend stocks, shares. Okay, that been beaten down due to. Uh, they have a new name, C C O V I nineteen virus. What do you think? Okay, now give me a thumbs up if you think this is the right thing to do. Uh, buying shares putting money in stocks that's very important all right so how are we going to look for it how are we going to look so give me a thumbs up if you do answer this those of you who are with us is it a good time to buy shares rather than putting money in the bank i think that's very important all right so going forward uh how do we look for them okay how do we look for them and i want to share with you this this uh next slide here Right. So how do we find strong shares with dividend in the stock market? How do we look for this hidden dividend shares? Now, if you go through the old way, H Magazine, all right, or the primitive way, uh, what I do is I read through some of those news that they have and I post it on our Facebook, fb.com slash Martin T.F. Wong. So it's always good to visit us at uh, Martin T.F. Wong in here and find out what are those shares that pay good dividend. Now, these are the highest 15% uh, percent dividend yield between 500 million to 1 billion. So you look at the right-hand side, how much has it has fallen uh, about? And uh, right here, you can see Muhiba Engineering, right? But I'm gonna show you later what is a better way to look into all these things, huh? Just, uh, and Falco, a 5% dividend. Uh, this one here, Eastern uh, Oriental, Zulian, and uh, one year return is 1%. So what you want to do is actually look for those that has been beaten down in here. So this is pretty uh, in, uh, interesting and good information. You have to take a picture of this one and then use Roby or use some other means to find out due diligence about that and the really trading bank 
the buying and the selling. That's where Roby and the Pentagon Guider would help a lot in here. I'm not going to go into each individual stocks. Use Smart Roby to do that. All right. So uh, another side, those of you who are looking for the big cap and there you, ha there you have, Malaya Banking is down 5% in here, uh, giving a 6% dividend yield. So remember when Bank Nagara, okay, when Bank Nagara coming in to give interest rate cuts, how is it going to impact you? All right, how is it going to impact you? So to me, that's very important to see uh, this continued interest rate cut is going to come in and these are the banking shares that you like. I did have one banking shares, but I'm not going to share with the public. I'll share it with my member. Do ask me when I see you this week. But do take note, one of the, one of the stocks that really fall uh, very heavily is uh, Public Bank, which is down almost 23% uh, because of the high expectation that they have that you know this, this share, Public Bank, will do well. And it's quite relatively uh, priced at 13 times now, okay, 13 times now. And those of you who don't know about the P 13 times now, use Roby and find out those uh, particular information that we have there. Now, uh, on 5 billion and 150 billion, these are still considered as a large cap in here. These are generally household name and those who like people who like technology. Inari is definitely one of them you want to look at. It. Uh, Henneken, uh, the drinking one, which is a very defensive stock. Uh, L, uh, LPI Capital, uh, Astro, I would not like Astro despite they pay a very high dividend. MBSB, now we can see uh, Astro has fallen a, a great more and SB Satir uh, has fallen a, a, a lot more. Gamuna has done pretty well, 3% in here. So do take a look at the timing and the trading plan that is provided by Smart Robin on each particular. So just key in Pavilion, key in LPI, then you're able to find those entry were able to help you. So those are very good information to have. Now, uh, going to the next one, uh, these are another household name, really between 1 billion and 15, and on the top of the list was always been uh, BAT, which has fallen a great deal, almost 66% down, 50% down, and, and lot there here, Air Asia in here. Now, having said that, just buying purely on dividend and not knowing the stock price. Now, for example, if you buy dividend, you get a 6%, but the stock price keep falling down. That's no good, isn't it? You buy, you get 6%, but your stock price 4, 12%, 13%, that's good. So I'm going to share with you one technique today, uh, just a couple of slides from here, just wait for me, that you can use it to buy those dividend shares and sector that is the strongest, which is much better than just purely looking at newspaper and, and trying to buy things that you, you, we have a very systematic way of doing things in trade VSA. I'm going to show you the, the, those methods in here. All right. So looking at uh, this next here. So how do I find strongs? We have it. Is there an easier way? Definitely. So uh, I will trade VSA and look for the entry. Okay. So once you go inside, you click onto the full feature chart, looking for JCY. And uh, JCY do pay a dividend. So I just need to check my uh, Smart Roby in here. All right. There you go. So this is JCY. So you can see here a very nice uh, pullback on here, JCY and it's been going up a pullback, a nice spring. This is one of a classic, classic pattern that we teach our member. Right. The up moving railway track. So on this weekend, the uh, master class trader will teach you how to do that. Into. So very quickly, you can see JCY is already a good stock for you to buy. So how long did I take to choose that? Not long, right? Just a couple of minutes, is it? So you want to know whether they pay dividend or not, just go on to TradingView or you can go on to Roby. Usually I just use Roby and uh, I have Roby in front of me here, all right, on my phone. So I type JCY and I have six options in here. So I'll just click on to the stock fundamentals, all right? And JCY is to JCY pay a 1.56 uh, uh, dividend yield. So if you look here, you can see here is very close, 1.6% dividend yield, all right? So JCY pay for 1.6% dividend yield. So that's the one that you are want to use. So let's say that's for technology. Let's say you want to buy uh, the, the so-called very uh, third strongest sector, which is plantation. Then you go into the industrial screener, you type plantation. Okay. So JCY is good. It's gone up, pull back a bit, 
and and, uh, and remember that why that's why I keep asking all our members who is listening now. If the coronavirus is all over, what's going to likely happen to most of the stocks? Now, as I said before, the headline earlier on, this thing is dying off. So a lot of them will resume. Now for plantation stocks, very similar. There's a lot of talks about you know people b- buying less uh, because you know uh, uh, because of less consumption from China so and so forth. So you can see here we click on FAD though, and FAD will give you those very good in here. So let's sort of six months. Uh, this is down ten percent. Will be Eno, which is actually eighty two cent. Kim Long, I like Kim Long, and I have some shares in Kim Long. Okay, so I'm talking into Kim Long. And I'm tapping on my Roby. I'm just checking how much is the dividend for Kim Long. It's also plantation stock, 4.5% dividend. There you go. You can see here. You can so see 4.6% dividend. My God, isn't that great? You found a share that has uh, okay 4.6%. Okay, click full feature, and you want to see the Pentagon uh, entry here. See whether it is good an entry or not. All right, so you can see this share is uh, Kim Long has been uh, still up, but a huge pullback, and this is also due to the uh, shares that is pulling back because of the recent coronavirus. Now, if you look at the earnings in here, what was the earning? Earning one cent, and then previously was earning one cent. So it's been considered. Now, this is really a low price buying in here. You don't want to buy up here, one thirty, and it turns. Guess what? green pentagon so that's how simple we look for those shares so again you want to continue and look for a good story it's basically really up to you what you want to trade but have a bit of diversification right now if you look back on the sector in terms of uh, where we are right strongest will be technology healthcare plantation now remember if you were to get in into km loan huh? km loan pays a 4.69 percent and it started to go up then you will see what? Go back to JCY. This is Notion B Tech for the te- uh, JCY for the technology. You got to know here. So let's 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 do a plot here. Possible, okay? We do a, a, a price forecast. I say we buy around here and we go up to here. How much is that? A potential, okay? A potential twenty-seven percent, twenty-seven percent upside with 4% dividend. What can you ask more? Yeah, implantation, a very strong. You can look at the fundamentals of uh, Kim Long. Uh, the ROE is only about 5.8%. That's what you consider as a return. But year to date is uh, three year Kage. Uh, the accumulated average growth rate is 4.3% in here. So this is how you want to find shares. Okay, so I, I don't want to take too much of the time. Uh, we won't do any stock review for today because uh, uh, we have uh, uh, Zach is away. Uh, so what we're going to do is that also this Friday, there won't be any live trading for our members because I'm preparing for the Saturday master class. And those of you who came for the November intake, please re-attend it because it is free of charge. It is free of charge for you, right? One of the benefits being a member of Trade VSA master class. So you can attend free for reset and we have new syllabus coming from, all right? So those are the, just the two simple techniques I want to share with you in here. And uh, so you have seen our new screener. The easier way is our new uh, in, uh, industrial screener, which we have done. So we haven't released yet to our members. We're still doing the fine tune up in here. And it's very interesting. You can see we have the one month uh, and the three month and the six months. Now the, the, there's a way to use this, okay? So let me just lock into the system in here. Now this is just looking at healthcare. Now use the healthcare as a sector to find out what you want. Now what you can do is typically looking at the what is the strongest sector that you have, okay? And then look at that. So right now you see in this uh, previously I think technology is, is currently the strongest help. Then followed by healthcare and then followed by uh, plantation. So if you want to look for plantation, a little bit of upside of technology, use that one. So I'm going to share with you how we're going to do that. So this is the latest release of our industrial screener in here. So do lock into our, let me just lock into our premium uh, screener here. Okay, so you want to able to uh, lock in. Okay, so once you lock in, 
and you go on to our daily retail monitor these are the stocks uh, that we have just waiting for it to refresh just waiting for it to refresh now the new screener it's not updated in here but what I want to share with you is actually logging into our premium dashboard and to look at the uh, sectors okay very important you want to look at the sectors here and it's technology followed by healthcare and plantation so that should be the industry you want to look at you know, technology healthcare and plantation so uh, then next you want to do is to go into this will be uh, updated and will tell you where it will be right? so you come into here and what you have this is technology okay let me just submit this again technology screener okay and you submit so we are looking for dividend okay so the dividend one the best one is to click FAD though now those of you who don't know FAD though is based on my uh, award win sorry I click energy I'm gonna click on to technology here I click submit so you can get FAD though okay so once you log into our industrial screener here uh, just waiting for so again these are all color coded the reason why it's color coded is to those of you who've been following uh, our thing is a way how you choose stocks. Okay, it's a simpler way how to choose stocks. So one of the ways we do it, look, and you can see in here what we want to do is to look for the sort out by the highest uh, month month sorting here. Okay, and then just okay. There you go. It's a bit slow. Okay, getting back to here. So one more time, we sort it out. Okay, so what we find the industrial assortment and we want to do is to look for a temporary pullback. So which means it is in a six month growth, but you have a temporary pullback one month here. And this is what we do. We actually teach this in this coming master 15 to 17. So right now you can see red, green, green. You can see revenue now gives you a very good chance for pullback. So we want to look for a one month still continue. Growth. Like this one is going up one month is uh, uh, price movement about 20%, six months is already 68% in here. And uh, that's what we want to do, look for those pullback. And if you click on to FA Dido, you can see uh, right now on one month, we have JCY and uh, Notion Tech, right? So do they pay dividend? So one of the things you can do, you can click on to uh, Notion Tech. look at JCY, okay? It's gone up six months, but one month is uh, hasn't gone up that much. One month is sort of like holding back. We want to look for a negative. Okay, this is JCY, so you don't want to trade to our. I'm going to take some questions in here. Okay, those of you who have before we close it. Now, so far, uh, also we have our monthly coaching and mentoring session as part of our masterclass. Even if you just join us for the, the package, the Trade BSA Pro package, uh, you still uh, get to come to our monthly uh, class so you get to experience what is it like to be an investor and a trader. And we, what, one of the things that we really do is actually look at issue clinic. Here, one of the members came out is, and he did ask how to exit, get out from a losing mindset and how to get into the trading zone. I think this is fairly important because uh, one of the new things that we're doing now is the daily FCPO. And some of you may have known, I posted also on Facebook that every day, I will teach you in the masterclass, try to make 200 to 300 ringgit just within five minutes on the first hour of trading or after lunchtime or end of the day on FCPO. And guess what? The same system, the same rule can also be used for the US market at night. So that's one of the day we will touch on to that. So that is what we're going to be covering uh, for this weekend, February 15 to 17. So make sure you come, get excited and be eager to learn. And we have a family package do WhatsApp to us, those of you who are interested in coming for this uh, masterclass because the next intake will be in May, right? So we want you to start making money like, if I can do it, so can you. Two to 300 ringgit a day, and we have a proper step, we have a proper risk control, we have a success model that you can follow.